Hello, everybody, and welcome back, Shh, doggy, to Horizon Zero Dawn, where it. I don't know, things are about to go down, and once again, I'm limited to like a half an hour of playing. And I'm just. Let's go, we don't have time. I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire. Could I technically, like, jump on this rope? Anyway, I guess I'll just fast travel, honestly. Oh, uh, I can't fast travel out of here. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's take this way. I feel like Aloy could jump on the rope and, you know, slide down, but just in case. Oh, okay. So we have to get out of here. And then I'll be able to fast travel, probably. Oh boy. Oh. Just wrapped inspection of Gaia Prime site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room. Remind me of Starship Bridges on those cheesy old sci-fi vids. Li living spaces for Alpha's already completed prefab modules. Fingers crossed we have never we never have to seal ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. Spent last week at the Bryce site designing 2D project labs, drawing up protocols. The base of repurposing was huge. Plenty of room for workspaces and residence blocks. The work crew's already set up my office lab. I'm not a fan of the glass wall. Guess Murray's intention was to ensconce me as all-seeing presence. Ugh, opposite effect makes me feel watched on display, tempted to paint it over. Harris recorded his presentation yesterday, suitably bleak, scheduled to record mine Friday. As soon as reception, lounge, hall of theaters, and first residence blocks at ZD site are finished, we'll start processing the candidates being held outside two cup two, 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 I always want to say Tuxin, I know it's not how you say it though. 27 already. Extraction teams prioritizing rim. Pack Rim and Aussie candidates. How scared and confused they must be. Snatched off the street, carted across the world, held in cells. Here's hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Going to catch a few hours sleep here, then fly back to the ZD site. Harris promised delivery of QB lattices by noon. Expect Nico will need two weeks to machine, assemble, and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 6T grounding. From there, I'll spin her up past 1T. Wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.38T record. Uh, MIE can go hang. Okay, sleep. So, so I did get all of these, and I got all, looks like I got all of the logs in this area. I'm only missing ones from previous quests, I think. Um, but we do have those logs that, yeah, so it's going to take a while, it looks like, for our files to be repaired. We have several. One, two, three, four, five. Five that need to be fixed. Okay. I thought maybe I was walking the path that she did or somehow in some way. And I was like, holy cow. Because she did walk out of here. I hope her death was kind. As kind as it could be, you know? As kind as one death, one's death could be. Hang on, actually, I really want to run to this vantage point. I noticed it when we were like on our way in, and it since it's so close to a pivotal area, and I think that that person who's been doing the vantage points wasn't involved in any way with the like Project Zero Dawn. They were just a person. Trying to survive the end of the world. Why is the music so sad? I know why the music is so sad. I feel like if I run in that water, it should be freezing, you know? Can I, like, run up this tree? I am too good. <laughs> I feel like I'm hitting like 
I'm getting close to like, you're out of bounds stuff. But, oh no, never mind. Oh no, it should be okay. Yeah. Now I just gotta figure out how to get up there. to leave something else behind. Okay. A pocket shit storm tour, day 10. So here's where I learned how the world would end. Okay. My second apocalypse in a year. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on now. Why would that be? Wait, what? Like it, it should go away, but it's not gonna go away. Oh, what? Oh, right, you go. I think he says more, right? Hi, Ma. I was surprised when Fast sent me out here, and not just because the meeting was going to be held in real space. I was surprised to discover that anyone at Fast still knew I existed. When I returned to work after treatment, HR informed me I'd been reassigned to the Vantage Project. It was exactly the professional death sentence I was expecting. The career equivalent of getting sent into the red zone without an environment suit. Everyone knew Vantage was one of those doomed projects fast kept around solely for the purpose of assigning dead enders to them. Especially hard cases like me who couldn't be summarily fired for fear of parity litigation. Month by month, management would pile losers on a lost cause and cancel the project and lay everyone off. A ship of fools sunk with a single torpedo it ain't long for this missile if it's downsizing. I had nothing better to do, so I spent my time studying the tech. Chip design wasn't my forte, but I knew enough to admire what the, that what the engineers had accomplished with the Eternity chip. Stored data was guaranteed to last 50,000 years or more without de degradation. As for Vantage itself, the project was little more than a failed marketing plan. The idea was to promote the tech by burying unlocked Eternity chips at scenic locales around the world. Public domain time capsules where enthusiasts could cache data locked in. Date, date lock data. The project got as far as developing the spikes, portable drill applicators to sink the chips, installed when grass, grass hackle encapsulates came on the market and stole Trinity Thunder. Okay, this is interesting. So the Vantage thing is like, was an actual, it wasn't just him doing it for funsies, maybe, or maybe it is, and he just took the technology when he was like, it's the apocalypse. <laughs> Anyway, I've been at Vantage three weeks when Fast unexpectedly sent me out here for a real space meeting. Me, a dead ender working a Doom project, dispatched to a high security Fast R&D site inside King's Peak. It didn't make sense. Security put me in a small conference room and told me to wait. It was downright claustrophobic. Dim lights, bad ventilation, more like an interrogation room from one of those 90s cop vids. But what really got my attention was the noises coming through the walls, the non-stop banging clatter of construction bots building something deep in the mountain, something big. The door opened and some doofs wearing fast badges fall in. I recognize one of them, Brad Andek, a military division replications engineer I met when I first joined the company, but I don't think he recognized me. He stayed at the back of the room the whole time looking distraught. I was about to ask what the heck was going on when a woman wearing a hijab walked in and she didn't introduce herself, but she didn't have to. It was Samini Ebaji, former lead archivist of Odyssey, the architect of the entire Homer project. Not a global celebrity by any means, but if you grew up following the Odyssey project like I did, you knew her on site. Ibadji sat down and started asking extremely precise questions about the upper range tolerances of eternity chips. And she asked me to speculate about the feasibility of various upgrade paths. The interview lasted maybe 10 minutes, whereupon she thanked me for my time and left. Everyone else filed out after her. Security came for me a few minutes later and escorted me to my vert. The whole way back to files, I kept trying to figure out what had just happened. What was Samini Abadji doing at a classified Pharaoh R&D site asking me questions about Eternity Tech? Didn't add up. If 
by the time I landed, I knew I wasn't going to give up until I puzzled it out. The worst that could happen was I'd get fired, and that was going to happen anyway. It took, took a couple days and some geo work, but I got a fix on Brad and Dex soon enough. He was going to a different bar every night, drinking to the point of blacking out. I shot on him until I managed to proxy his focus, focus and juke his net protocols. Oh, wow. Okay, he didn't just ask him. I didn't find anything strange in his financial records or media pattern. Then I was starting to think I'd wasted my time. Then I accessed his Dreambox account and found the journal he'd been keeping the past few weeks. It was all there. How the world would end. My first thought well, was, well, if my mom didn't live to see this. My second thought was that nothing mattered anymore, which made it pretty obvious that I should kill myself. Wow. Yeah. But I don't think he did. And I think, I think if he did, he went around doing the... Uh, the vantage stuff first. Okay, so I was like, how did he know the world was gonna end? But yeah, he found out by somehow hacking a top level person's pro uh, focus, which seems a bit odd, but you know. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily something that you need to kill yourself over. It's in some way, at least you could I don't know. Put things in order for yourself? I don't know. At least you could, I don't know, you could work towards accepting it or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do in that situation, honestly. But I've got, I've got family and small siblings and that would, that would terrify me more than anything. Is what to do with them, you know? So, like, how, how would I save them? you know, type thing. Oh, but... I don't have to worry about that right now. Maybe the world will end in my lifetime. Maybe it won't. How do we travel? Ooh, one last fast travel pack. I know I could probably make more, but that seems very ominous. It's a one-way trip. Is it gonna pop me out in the middle of devastation or something? Is this another Nora village? Okay, whew, things are still good. Okay. Alright. I've gotten here in time. Oh, look at the kites. I gotta figure out what I should wear. Mm. I really want to wear that one. Actually. Even though it's like a shadow one, so I probably shouldn't. Uh, I could just go with my Nora, like the traditional Nora armor. It's like, you know what? We're going into battle. The cards are nothing else. Steal to my soul. We'll teach him how to hold. I am. Um, this is. I don't know. I guess she doesn't really see herself as Nora, really. But this is the armor that protects against melee attacks, and it's the one, you know, that she's, like, sort of had the longest. If nothing else, it breeds familiarity. Whoop, I don't want to knock into anybody. I don't know if it works like Assassin's Creed, where if you bump into somebody, they cry about spilt milk and berries and stuff. Don't mind me just sprinting to the palace. Nothing going on here. This place is so beautiful. Where's the spire at? His priority is going to be the people, not the spire. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do something. I don't know. Well... Maybe I could have come back here and chatted with people. Is it... you just sit up here when you're bored or what? Oh, hey, you got a book. The Founding of Meridian. Oh, this seems like something that might be relevant. We are Karja. In us is the blood of those led by Araman from the persecution and pursuit so long ago. Out of the far, sa far savage east became guardians of a treasure greater than land or metal, the leaves of the old ones. 
Aramid found the leaves in a ruin, pecked out by a beam of sunlight, and he recognized at once their importance. Within was etched the first teachings of how to observe the sun, to recognize its guidance, and to understand the place of men. From out of the leaves came the first glyphs, the first writings, so knowledge could last longer than voices. But when our forefathers offered to share this gift, they were driven out by those they had once called tribesfolk. These ones feared to have the light of knowledge brought to bear in their ignorance, or were jealous of its power. And so began the long wandering of our people, trusting only that the sun would guide them and deliver them from the barbarian tribes. The path was hard and marked by the stones of families who fell along the, way the wayside, even Aramen's own. The persecution was unceasing from those without purpose, only, only the desire to debase and destroy. But the faith of the Karja was rewarded with a distant vision, a tower like a solid ray of the sun holding on the horizon and flashing. Even as their enemies descended upon them, Aramon followed the flight of the glint hawks, leading his people through looming canyons and teeming jungles. Again they saw the tower, so close now it seemed to reach to the very sun itself, and they saw that the glint hawks perched upon it. Beheld in the light of the sun, the tower, the spire, cast its long shadow upon a mesa across a barren valley. Aramon knew he had found a haven for the tribe, as this was a place shunned by those without his faith, who cowered from the magnificence of the spire or the shining feathers of the glint hawks. He named this place Meridian from a passage in the leaves, and the tribe settled in the protection of the Great Mesa. They found the site was blessed in every respect, carving their cliff houses from the bounteous resources, and in time from the red rock of the Mesa itself, crowning it with the first columns of the City of the Sun. Truly the Sun gave much descendants of our forefathers, granting Meridian great harvest and prosperity, and the bounds of the Sun to, for as far as the light is its light touched. In time, seeing Meridian shielded us, from the dark arrows and plots of our foes, other for foreigners brought trade and tribute. Holy Meridian, without spire and sun there be no meridian, but now and forevermore it stands as a monument to both. And the glory of Aram and the founders is reflected anew in each sun king of the radiant line and the noble houses of the sun court. So the spire is a fairly important thing, and they may not let me mess with it, is, is, is what I'm possibly getting. Aloy, what brings you to meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. Hello, it's good to see I'm you I'm trying too. to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target, Avad. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes, send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy, he won't question it and have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the spire rests. Aloy, allow me to oh. apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. <laughs> no. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet, but I will. He wishes to speak to you. Defensive preparations are his responsibility. Goodbye, my beautiful king, prince, princely king. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Where are you? Oh, okay. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Those cowards at Sunfall tried to use... Ah, oh, Aloy. 
Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. Aha! For me. Don't be so humble. Aha! I knew it! I knew it would be beneficial to have lots of friends! The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. I'm gonna go talk to them. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. I will. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. Oh, don't, don't make fun A number of, them. of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. Well, they don't want to. They're here for me. They're not here for other people. I suppose people. all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Oh man, that's Otherwise, a sign! I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is that whole, okay, if you're, uh, if you've got other things you want to do, do them now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Last time I visited Prime was November of last year. Months since, months since had been a blur. Flew out last night to oversee installation of the central armature and the master override, you're welcome, Ted. What, which was uh, completed by 0430. Why is she saying you're welcome, Ted? About a master override. I don't want to talk about the master override in Ted. So I decided to grab a few hours of sleep here before heading back to ZD. Called Gaia before I bit it down ostensibly to update her on the site plan. But the truth is I missed her. I've developed a habit of speaking to her before I sleep. Seems to be the only thing that calms me these days. Woke to a message from Oswald. The Odyssey launched yesterday, so terrestrial life's chance of survival has doubled. Why then do I feel so uneasy? I just keep wondering what kind of world Farzanath will create if the ship reaches its destination so many decades from now. And I worry about that alpha build of Apollo. So much knowledge, so few restraints and no fail-safes. How will they avoid repeating our mistakes? What's to stop them from playing God? Forwarded the Odyssey message to the Alvas, Natu replied in less than a minute with a poem, of course, The Building of the Ship by Longfellow. And it's long, all right. Longfellow does write long poems. <laughs> I didn't read all of it, but it seems to be a plot about launching a ship rather than building one. This stanza, or couplet, or whatever, leapt out at me. Humanity with all its fears, with all its hopes of future years, is hanging breathless on thy fate. Yeah, Odyssey and Zero Dawn both. Speaking of which, I should get back to ZD, get to just stop by now to his lab, and check on Demeter's progress too. If I can get out of there without a volume of Tennyson pressed into my hands, I'll count myself lucky. Oh, Tennyson's pretty good though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I keep thinking if I can't get even a shred of Apollo back, I'm gonna be so upset. So upset. Okay, I guess it's I can run. Let's see. This, where's the closest one? Is right here? Okay. Oh no, that's resting. We don't want to rest. Resting is a no-no. Is this, this is the spire? Yeah, okay. Cool. I'm so nervous. Oh my god, what? La wait, no. Yeah, we read that one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Wait. I thought we, I thought we had five that we were missing. But we still have five. Unless they're kind of like... Mixed up? I don't know. But we know what happened to Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah, was that spaceship that attempted to go out and it exploded. They didn't have enough time. 
Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. I've got all the Come, colors. let's talk it over. Um, I'm so tempted actually to try to com complete at least one set. Looks like this is the one I have the most for. But then again, I don't know, like, you can't just be like, yeah, I want to get uh, all of set three. It doesn't work like that. You just pick up what you pick up. Uh, and I'd like, honestly, I am almost leveled up. Maybe after talking to people, I'll get some XP because then I could get at least that. Oh, no, I can't get that right now. Haha. -ha. Because it's only two. Okay. Is that what I wanted before? Was there something else? Well, now our spirit, our light spear attacks are a little better. This would have been nice. I know I didn't really do a melee build though. Well, that's all the points. We're almost about to level up again. And the Karja in shadow. I really want to wear my Karja. They have such amazing clothes. The enemy is coming, and soon. Where? Where am I going? Okay, I'm still very far away. Yes, all these preparations have to be done quietly, but I think people would realize, you know, a mass movement of troops. These elevators are amazing. Come on, elevator. I want? Yeah, no, if I'm gonna be talking to the Nora, I'll be wanting to wear my Nora outfit. I don't think there's anything like a weapon upgrade I need. I have all the bows fully upgraded. I could get the upgraded trip caster, maybe. I don't know if I actually could. And I have my upgraded lance, which is legit. Maybe I'll look into seeing about getting the uh, upgraded trip caster. Oh my gosh. Is it coming? I I see movement. Okay, has like ostensibly. I do kinda like that though. I think it makes you realize just how how far you travel. And all it takes is a little ching, ching. And then you get that an awesome ride down. I think it's kind of funny that they leave it kind of exposed, at least a little bit. If I was a parent, I'd be like, children, stand in the middle, even though it doesn't make a difference. Seeing you hover over half exposed air is terrifying. There's still so much to do in this game. But at the same time, like I feel like I've done a lot. You know, like it's just like collectibles now, which I do want to do and I will do. Before I like end this playthrough anyway, I'll be definitely picking up all the collectibles. I think from what people have said that after everything goes down you can it might be like some maybe maybe not I don't know maybe like Mass Effect where it kind of like puts you back in time have a tiny just bit polish that armor who's it of course uh, isn't that a little what nothing out with it woman I forget I said anything you look very dignified thank you and shiny very shiny Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. I Ready recognize to fight? her. Fight? 
I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. <laughs> Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Oh, oh, oh. No, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. Her outfit's I awesome. I don't think I know you at all, but I'd like to. <gasps> hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. Yeah. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. We're letting the Indeed. take the ball. They'll give him a rap on Can the I talk? This is that guy we saved. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy, it was done well. <laughs> Although, I can't shake this road. Vanasha, <laughs> she delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? <laughs> no. I accept it. Okay. Well then, Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. <laughs> Oh my gosh, her outfit. Can I cosplay as Vanessa? Wow. Oh, she looks so cool. Man, cosplaying as anybody from this would be awesome. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Are you friend? I think, are you the Osram woman? <gasps> Wait. Crap. Did I... No, wait, there was a, no! I think there was a power cell back there at the, oh no. Oh no. Crap, I didn't do this yet. I think we're okay. If this is Petra, we'll be okay. It is Petra, we're okay! Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you. Hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. Oh, thanks. That happens to you a lot. I was gonna say. <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them <laughs> off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Nice. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. Okay, so will I have the option of using this? Whoa, oh, okay, I can't you. Okay. My turn. From here. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Oh. My bad. That's a very sturdy, uh, dilly walk. It's nice. Oh, hang on. Hello. Let's see if I can... Nope. Okay. <laughs> can 
I talk to you again, Petra, or no? Okay. Okay, well, it was good chatting. <laughs> oh, man. We have got a lot of people to talk to, and they're not all marked, which is sort of aggravating. But I'm going to run over here and save. And then I should probably go, because this actually went longer than I thought it would. But wow. Okay. There are a few things I'd maybe like to do before the battle, but I think at this point, no. We're just we're not going to worry about it. Hopefully I can come back and finish up some things if I want to, but if not, it's been a good game. <laughs> it's been a good fight, and I look forward to destroying the enemy as soon as possible. If that's what happens, I don't know. I feel like we're reaching endgame material, especially now that everybody's gathered. That's usually a sign that endgame is coming, and I'm excited! I'm excited. I want to finish up this game, do a few more of the side quests, maybe at least get the collectibles done, and then... We'll move on to the DLC, but we're not quite there yet. We still have a big fight in front of us, so thank you all once again for joining me on this journey. I have loved it, and I appreciate it very, very much that you all will watch, and I will see you in the next one.